teeth and grit. We are getting ready to transition to lunch. It will be on the concourse upstairs. I got Commissioner Ryan Quarles here. Kentucky Proud, we did our best to source local foods here for lunch. Uh, Commissioner Quarles is gonna come kick off lunch for you. Uh, and uh, Major Rooney, we'll have a table set up in the uh, where you registered. He's got a book. Uh, you can get a photo with him from 1.30 to 2 o'clock. He'll be there after lunch. And uh, also, we got some Soar Summit t-shirts for sale. So, Commissioner Quarles. Well, good afternoon. Who's ready for lunch? The Kentucky Department of Agriculture is proud to help sponsor a true Kentucky Proud lunch today. And I'm here to say that agriculture is alive and well in eastern Kentucky. For the past few years, we have focused on using agriculture to create jobs in this part of the state. From white oak trees for our bourbon barrels to exporting value-added timber around the world, agriculture continues to create hundreds of jobs in the Soar region. And let me just give you three quick examples of this. Two years ago, we started working with Kroger's and our Cattlemen's Association. And you can walk in 85 Kroger stores today and buy 100% Kentucky Proud ground beef product, and today we've sold 453,000 pounds, and they're processed in the chop shop here in Eastern Kentucky. We intentionally chose Eastern Kentucky to process this beef. With industrial hemp, we're bringing a crop back that's been sleeping for 80 years. We now have hemp in 102 of our 120 counties, from right here in Pike County all the way to Fulton County. And we expect there to be $100 million of Kentucky Proud hemp sold in America this year. So thank you, Congressman Hal Rogers and our congressional district for legalizing hemp in America. We're also investing in high-tech technology, whether it be Fitbits for agriculture, drones, or large-scale greenhouses, which are under construction right now in eastern Kentucky, we're bringing agriculture into the 21st century, while at the same time helping sponsor 4-H and FFA chapters, which are thriving in eastern Kentucky. And just two weeks ago, at the Kentucky State Fair, we facilitated an accumulative $1 million in scholarships through our Junior Chef program to young Kentuckians that want to choose culinary arts as a career. And guess which counties won? Montgomery and Harlan counties. And we're using the local food movement, which is real, to help connect farmers with consumers, whether it be U-Pike, Moorhead, or countless Eastern Kentucky school districts which are using Kentucky Proud menus in their cafeterias, we're helping support local jobs. And so today, with all the excitement around Kentucky Proud, I have one major announcement. Appalachia Proud is a Kentucky Proud logo reserved for Eastern Kentucky farmers. We protect it because their agriculture is known for high quality and it's great tasting. Today, we are expanding Appalachia Proud to 17 counties to align with all the counties in the Soar region and the ARC. So please welcome and support your local farmers, local agriculture. If you like to buy, buy Kentucky Proud. If you like to eat like I do, be sure to thank a Kentucky farmer. Thank you all so much and enjoy your lunch. All right, guys, grab lunch. It's up on the concourse. You can bring it back down here. We've got the Morehead State University, Kentucky Center for Traditional Music, Mountain Music Ambassadors. Going to be playing some bluegrass down here on the stage, so feel free to bring your lunch back down. God bless. Have a great day. Visit the booths. Go change the world. Thank you.